Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jackie with Mountain Life Fitness, the owner of this beautiful facility and coach and trainer to all of you amazing Mountain Life Fitness members and clients. These videos are being produced specifically for you. And so this particular workout is a total glutes plus core Pilates fusion. I've taken two or three different scenarios, as many of you know, and created these shorter blocks of um, work and training to be done that can be stacked and integrated into other Pilates type programs, as well as added to many of our other formats, particularly any of our uh, cardio type formats like cardio circuit or short cycle. Those work really, really well with this. So it's broken into four blocks and block one will be a focus on the glutes, glutes, hip abductor, adductor, and of course your glute max and a little bit of those hip adductors as well because they wrap around and attach to that femur. Uh, block two will be all core, block three glutes again, and block four core. I am gonna be using a mini ball today and so if you don't have a mini ball, you certainly can perform this entire program without it. And um, we also like to have you make sure that you've warmed up prior to this program. I do not use music during this and I also have my shoes on, but you're welcome to have yours on or off, um, whatever works best for you in this particular situation. So we're gonna start off with um, some supine work that'll be specifically for the glutes. And I'm gonna have you come down and we're actually gonna place the ball between the feet. Now we do this some in total body mat Pilates with the ball underneath the hips, but here we're gonna have the ball between the feet. I am gonna elevate my hips though and bring my legs directly up over my hips. And this is gonna be flexion extension, so I'm gonna be pulling those knees in and pushing straight out. Pull in and push out. Exhale and inhale. So trying to lie the thighs right there on top of the torso, yes. Really think of that lengthening each time. Squeeze that ball in tight throughout and use your breath. Good. Now we're gonna add a tempo change here. So we're gonna press up one, two, three, and bring it in and press it out. Two, three, and in. Again, up, two, three, and one more time. Up, two, three, and in. Good. Then let's take that ball and we're gonna hold it, and we're gonna come up on the toes. And this is also a progression or a derivation, a theme of one that we do in our total body mat Pilates. And this is gonna vary a little bit though. And so what's gonna happen is the ball is gonna to touch the shin, and I actually am going to move the leg here, which we do not do in our total body mat Pilates. So this is just a progression. Stay up on the toes of the left foot, a nice big range of motion with the upper and lower body. And let's go four. So just keeping the hips up. Three, and two, and one more, up and down. So again, another difference is, is that we are not moving the hips here. We're holding the uh, hips up in extension. And let's come up and down. Now watch as that leg goes down that you don't allow that pelvis to slip out of neutral. Yeah, so moving upper body, lower body, and keeping that glute engaged there on the right side. Three, two, and one. Good, all right, and lower down. And then we're gonna put the uh, ball between the feet, and we're gonna roll over to our side. So, sideline position and I'm gonna squeeze those legs together and you can bring your head down into a cradle position if you like. And we're gonna lift up and down. So squeeze the ball between the feet. We'll often do this with the ball between the knees in total body mat Pilates. So this is a derivation on a theme. It requires a little more stability, a little more focus. That's it, up and down. Exhale and inhale, lift and lower and up and down. And let's go one, two, three and down. And it's up, two, three and down. Again, up, 
two, three, one more, up, two, three, and down. Bend those knees in, and let's press over to the other side. So each side has a turn at being on top, and each one has a turn at being on the bottom of this particular exercise. All right, guys, so shoulders down and back, ribcage lifted, navel to spine, and let's lift up and down. Compress abdomen, squeeze the ball tightly, squeeze the buttocks tightly, and use that breath, yeah? Up and down, smooth and fluid, good. Lift and down, and up, three up, one down, and it's one, two, three, and down, and one. Good, up, two, three, two more, up, two, three, and last one, up, two, three, and down, good job. All right, so we'll grab that ball, and we're gonna place it down here in the really low part of the lower back here. So right down in there, it should actually feel good and supportive. And these are layouts. Feet are gonna stay down. And again, this is just another progression. We're really gonna press the arms up. You don't need to add any load with that necessarily, yeah? So we're trying to get ourselves back, really compressing and out. Good, press and pull in. Exhale and inhale. That's it, good. Now let's add some direction. Okay, so pull in, press right, pull in, press left. In, right, in, and left. In, right, in, and left. In, right, in, and left, and back up. All right, good. Single leg reaches, so we do this just one of our standard Pilates exercises, but we're gonna use the ball. So we're gonna have that left leg extended, right leg flexed, and we usually tug and switch here. We're gonna use the ball over the head, so we're gonna come down and up. Head, neck, and shoulders off the floor if you're able, yeah? And try to touch each shin. That's it, yeah? Out and in, out and in, exhale and inhale, good, four to go, and it's four, and three, two, and one, good, all right. And then next today, lateral flexion. So the ball is going to be under the rib cage with the bottom arm extended, okay? And this hand here in front of the body, and we're gonna lift up and down. So feet are gonna stay down, yes. And lift, compress abdomen, good. Up and down, exhale and inhale. So this is your core focus on this second block. Now three up, one down, and it's one, two, three, and down. So we're not lifting those legs on this one. Two, three, and down, two more. That's a derivation on the theme also that we've also done. And one more, up, two, three, and down. Good. And then let's switch sides. And so wedge it underneath the rib cage and above the hip bone. Take the bottom arm out, okay, top hand here, and let's lift up and down. So working the lateral flexors of the torso there, lift and down, keeping the feet down, yeah, compress that abdomen, up and down, move from the waistline, up, good, good, and lift. Now three up, one down, let's go one, two, three, resist it down and bring it up, up, up and down, two more, up, two, three and last one, up, two, three and down, nice work. All right, so we're now gonna get into a prone position 
and we're going to take the ball and place it between our feet. Get it in there. Okay, and you're going to stack your hands one on top of the other, and this is going to be those hand curls. Again, we do this in our mat Pilates um, very regularly, but here we're going to have that ball, and we're going to squeeze that ball between the feet. Yeah and in and out. So we are flexing at the ankle and then flattening the top of that foot out there and keeping the hips down. They're gonna try to lift and your job is to keep them anchored to the floor. Let's go four, yeah, and three, good. Two and one more. Now three and one out. One, two, three and push it out. In, two, three, and two more. In, two, three, and last one. In, two, three, and out. Good job. Come up and grab that ball. And supine hip extension. So we're back to that glute focus. This is block three. All right. And here we are going to have the feet on the ball. So very small surface area. This tends to really fire up those hamstrings. So just be aware of that. And you want your shoulders packed down, rib cage lifted, navel to spine, pelvic floor up and in. And we're gonna lift up and down. Now here you are gonna keep the hips off the floor. Target those glutes and boy, those hamstrings get this big time. Yeah, and lift up and down. Exhale and inhale, up and down. And one more time, up and down. Can't stay there very long with that one. <laughs> okay, all right. And then we're gonna take the ball and place it underneath our hips on the side. So we wanna actually get up on there and lie on there with those legs extended. And this is going to be um, flexion and extension. So we're going to flex at the hip and extend back. Yeah. And then we'll add a combination to it. So right here, we're going to flex in, extend forward and back. So you do have that stabilization on the ball here. Yeah. In, out, forward and back. In, out, forward, and one more. In, out, forward, and back. Good, come on down and switch sides. All right, so again, being elevated on the ball versus having the side of your torso on there does make a big difference in your ability to stabilize. Shoulders packed down, rib cage lifted, navel to spine. Just start with flexion and extension, that leg moving. Okay, now let's combine it. In, out, forward, and back. 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 And in, out, forward, and back. Good, and come down off. All right, ball is gonna go onto your knee going to be in a supine position. So what's going to happen is the leg is going to cross and you're going to place that ball right on the inside of the knee. going to rest your head in the opposite hand. And the key with this one is that you've got equal pressure. You're pushing into the ball with the leg and you're pushing into the leg with the ball. So you create that real resistance going and coming. You're going to come up and back. So you're pushing into the ball both with the leg and the arm. The arm pushes in with the torso. So as I come across, I'll get a greater press. Really compress abdomen so that there's no chance that you're pushing that abdomen out, always pushing or pulling in, not allowing to push out. Across and back. Now, three in. So one, two, three, and back, and one, two, three, two more. One, two, three, 
Last one, and in. Two, three, and back, good job. Switching sides. Rest the head in the fingers, fingers into that ball, and let's come up and across. Again, pulling in with the abdomen, but pushing into the ball, both with the leg and the hand. So as the torso comes across, we get more of a press into the ball. Make sure you're pulling in, not pushing out with that abdomen. Yes, across and back and across. Now three in, one, two, three, and back and up and across. Two, three, and back again. One, two, three, and last one in, two, three, and release. Good job, you guys. Okay, and next on the hip parade here. All right, so rock and roll up, and this is gonna be a double leg reach. Now we want the ball to be mid-thoracic. Okay, I'm gonna bring those legs up. I'm gonna bring the arms on the outside. We're gonna sweep through and in. And of course, this can be done without the ball, yeah? and around, and around. It's actually pretty comfortable in this position though. And sweep, yes, nice and precise. Around, good. Now let's reverse direction. Out, around, and through. Torso's quiet here. Yeah, arms and legs the only thing moving. And around, good. Let's go four, and three. Good, two, and one. Good. Lean up, remove the ball. Now I'm going to turn around here, but you're going to have the ball between your feet. And again, we've done pass and grabs before, but we're going to add a little variety here. So arms up over the head. Legs are going to remain directly over the hips throughout. So we're going to grab the ball and back. Then we're going to rotate right, rotate left, ball back and grab, all right? Rotate, rotate, grab and back. Good, rotate, rotate, up and back. One more time through, rotate, rotate, up and back. Grab it and pull it down and put those feet down. Great job, you guys. Rock and roll up. And that is your total glutes and core Pilates fusion with the mini ball this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. Integrate it, stack it with other workouts, make it work for you guys. It changes every week. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much.